Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What was the best moment you've seen where the real world hit a spoiled rich kid? I grew up with rich kids and still keep in touch with a few of them. One guy's father owned the most prestigious law firm in town. He said his life changed the moment he called his father from jail, the second time it happened. His father said well, sorry to hear you got arrested, good luck, then hung up. He said getting locked back into his cell was the singular moment that completely turned his life around. That's a good life lesson sounds like the dad cares but wants his son to actually grow up to be a good successful person. Do you know if he actually turned his life around and got better from there? My grandfather was the same way as an attorney forward slash father. A favorite family story is when my uncle called him from a police station on a Friday night. He was in high school at the time and got caught drinking. My grandfather answered the phone and simply asked what did you do? And my uncle responds nothing. Great, tell them to let you go hangs up the phone and goes back to sleep. Both my uncle and the police were stunned but it being the weekend my uncle ended up having get transferred to the county jail until Monday morning. The police from the jail called my grandfather on Monday morning and said you've got to pick the poor kid up. His time in jail wasn't particularly traumatic but it taught him a pretty valuable lesson in how principled my grandfather was. Had he been honest and just admitted what he did he wouldn't have been in that situation. Yeah. That sounds sensible, of course you'd help your kid out the first time, getting arrested twice is a problem the kid needs to work out himself. I knew this rich kid from high school that went off to college and partied every single night. His parents found out that he was failing basically all of his classes, so they secretly drove up early one Saturday morning with the spare set of keys to the car they had bought him and just drove off with the car. My parents did this to me in college, but it was because they found out I was living with my boyfriend and they didn't believe in sex before marriage. I thought my car had been stolen. I guess technically it was. Edit, holy shit. I didn't expect anyone to care about this. I'll just respond to all the questions here. My name was on the title, my parents had bought the car outright when I turned 16, but I worked for my mom's business and had been foregoing a salary through the end of high school to pay for the car. They gave it back eventually. The resentment stayed and I moved several states away a few months later. I came back to visit, nearly died in an accident in the same car, with the boyfriend they hated. He and I broke up, they were right about one thing. He sucked, my parents have since outgrown their religious weirdness, yada yada, we're extremely close and they really love and accept the man I currently live with, who I am very much not married to. Depends whose name is on the title. Somewhat distant relative spent all of his university years and twenties partying hard with the backslash tilde 100 to 120k allowance his rich company owning father gave him each year. He'd travel the world each year going to Bali. Thailand, Europe, every year October Fest, just rampaging. At 32 or so he decided to settle an upscale ski resort area of the US and open a business with his hot gold digger fierce. When he went to transfer his money to his US bank account he noticed it only came to a few thousand dollars. He angrily asked the bank worker why she hadn't transferred the entire amount only to be told that that was the entire amount. His father had cut him off without saying anything and he just hadn't noticed. Absolute flatly. Legendary, mate. Rich guy in our college dorm thought he was untouchable cause his dad was some NFL player from the IOTs and had not blown all his money yet. He would get freshman girls blackout drunk and then film himself having sex with them and then show all his buddies the next day or so. Well one buddy was not as close as he thought and went to the RA who then went to campus police and then real police. It was a fun night watching the parking lot fill up with the board cops on duty that night and haul his ass out of the dorms while they went and gathered his evidence. What happened to him afterwards? Did he return to school? Never saw him after that night. This took place near the end of the week Thursday or Friday cause I remember going to class on Monday and his dorm was empty and being cleaned by the housekeeping staff. I have a similar story. I was raped my freshman year of college by a senior who slipped something in my drink. While I didn't go to the police until it was too late for evidence collection, because I was dumb and thought if I had peed I couldn't get a rape kit, I went to my college's Title IX office. Dude got the fanciest lawyer and thought he was untouchable because his family donated and knew the chancellor. I worked my little tushy off to counter his BS claims and show them what he did to me, and he was expelled. 
he no longer has a fancy degree and can't go to one of the top law schools in the country, that he was accepted into because now he has no undergrad degree, and hurt other women. Edit, thank you for all the love and support. It was a really rough time, and didn't happen that long ago, so sometimes hearing the news forward slash what shitty people say is really soul crushing. You all have lifted my spirits and made me feel so good about myself. Thank you, lovely people. That's an amazing story. It takes a lot to courage to go through something like that. I was assaulted by someone when I was in the military, this was 20 years ago and I just never had the guts to report it. I really admire women like you who had the courage to deal with the whole process of seeking justice. That one Instagram model who got caught on video talking shit to a security guard at Vidco. Not only did the guard stand his ground and not let him in, because he wasn't famous enough to be given a pass and too rich to just buy one, but once the internet saw the video the guard ended up with more followers than the kid. You're irrelevant. I'm attractive as fuck. I make a lot of money. Bruh WTF. Removed. Oh, yeah, this guy. Trigger warning, Keemstar. HTTPS U2.BE forward slash EJDBOFPTQ30. ETA, the trigger warning, turns out a lot of you know and prefer to avoid this channel. As an alternative, here's an article from NBC. HTTPS www.psos.com forward slash news forward slash Latino. After listening to this model's view, I'm convinced he has an IQ below room temperature. Edit, this is my first silver. Really? Thank you kind stranger. You do not treat a human being like a dog. Two seconds later. You deserve to be, like, crucified, you're ugly as fuck and irrelevant, kill yourself. Forward slash. Classmate in college failed his course partied for a year with daddy's money. Never studied ever. Thing is inheriting his father's construction company, two quarries, a fleet of trucks and equipment, depended on him manning up and passing the class. All he had to do was learn the basics of mechanical diagnostic and repair. And be set for life. He just needed to pass one class. Talk about wasted opportunities. One course. He failed four or five classes. All were needed to graduate. Administration and faculty at a university refused a substantial offer of endowment money from a couple that wanted their son enrolled as an art major. Their son couldn't meet the minimum scholastic entrance requirements and he had little aptitude for art. Still, with their millions, he thought money would buy his way to an easy degree as an art major. He was dumbfounded to receive a notice of non-admittance. Cries in German. Someone is gonna pay for this down the road. I had a roommate my freshman year of college that came from an incredibly rich oil family from the Middle East. I remember him having the hardest time adjusting to not having someone else prepare him food. I remember waking up one morning and going to the kitchen and seeing him try to eat eggs and toast he had just prepared himself. He asked me how I normally prepare fried eggs because his tasted really crunchy. Turns out he had just cracked the egg hole into the pan and prepared its shell and all. I couldn't stop laughing but felt really bad for the dude. At least he tried. True. He was a good dude. Was an interesting semester helping him learn how to live providing for himself. I knew a guy in high school who bragged that he didn't have to pay attention in school because, get this, his grandfather was a vice president of the corporation that supplied the cardboard for cereal boxes for General Mills. Real gravy train, you know. Last I checked, since deleted Facebook, he was still working at Best Buy five years after high school, same job he had in high school. I don't think my father, the inventor of toaster strudel, would be too pleased with this. Let it out, honey. Put it in the book. The duck might swim in the lake, but my daddy owns the lake. I don't know what's weirder. Seeing a Holes quote in 2019, or instantly recognizing a quote for a I haven't seen in over a decade. Good reference either way. Probably on the BBC yesterday when Prince Andrew got the shit kicked out of him for an hour about his association with Epstein. Epstein's the guy who didn't kill himself, right? Ooh I know this one. When did you last speak with Kislea? Summer late spring early spring when did Epstein get arrested? July, yes, before July. Where were you on March the 10th, 2001? Pizza Express Woking. Lol. That's my local Pizza Express. It's crazy. 
My best moment was when I got hired by a pair of Woodside, CA parents to transition their horrible 18-year-old into the realities of real life, something that evaded both of them. My first action was to take away his platinum, limitless, credit cards. He threw a tantrum that lasted several days. Where am I going to get money? Get a job. My parents will fire you. They didn't. When he realized that boundaries and budgets had been set in stone, and that he not only had to pay the bills, the rent, but taxes too, he headed straight to college to wait out the next four years. He is still a little jerk, but at least he has a job and an education now. How does one get into this line of work? I was the nanny while working through my PDD, so I came to it indirectly. There is a whole workforce of folks who do this. Word of mouth and ex-door.